Hi, my name is Kareem Benema, and I'd like to talk to you about value and money. Now, we use the word value for the things that we value as human beings, things that we find valuable. But we also use it for financial value or for our valuables, so things that have a price. And ideally, we'd like to spend money on things that we value and that we find valuable. And more globally, we'd like the global economic system to help us to put the values that we value as human beings into the world to make those things happen. But what happens in practice? Actually, quite a lot of value is based on exploitation, whether it's of a cocoa or a coffee farmer, or the person who puts your garments together, or the person who puts your iPhone together, or the person who mines for the rare earth metals that are in your iPhone. A lot of these value chains are actually exploitation chains. And so by buying these products, we're not actually increasing the kind of value of those people. So one way to bring our values into kind of harmony with the financial value of things would be to pay a good price for things, to pay a price so that the people could have a valuable life, could have a good life. And of course, there's lots of fair trade certifications which help you to do that with fruit and with wood and with fish and things like that. And that is a way perhaps to bring those two things in harmony, the certification that you're actually putting your values into the world through what you purchase as an individual. Now, of course, there's the money you spend every day on things, but most of the money you have, your biggest bank account is in your bank, and it's also your pension plan. You're really saving up for 30 or 40 years worth of life after you retire. Uh, those will be millions of euros. And depending on your pension plan, that money will be invested into arms, into tobacco, into coal. These are the things that I invest in because I used to be a teacher. And the strange thing is we'd like to invest for a future that we value and we're investing in coal plants. Now, if we want a future where global warming is less of a problem, maybe that's not such a good idea. So really what needs to happen is for us to get a say about how the money that's being invested in our name, because those very large amounts of money, those thousands of billions of euros and dollars that are being invested in pension plans are actually making the world as we have it today. Now, the third way is really the money that we spend uh, as a group, as a community. And most of that is on a kind of national level. Uh, we pay taxes and our money gets spent to pay for education, to pay for healthcare, but also to pay for all kinds of other things. Now, in the Netherlands, for example, we like to subsidy housing buyers because they can uh, get a tax rebate on their interest payments. And uh, globally, air travel is completely tax-free. Uh, it's not the things you buy when you're at the airport. It's the fact that there is no VAT, no value-added tax on your airline tickets, but also that the kerosene that goes into the uh, plane is not taxed at all, whereas your gasoline that you put in your car is taxed at maybe 50 to 70 percent. So uh, those things were done to stimulate airline travel just after the war so that it could take off. But you want to think if what we really want to do in our world today is to make air travel tax-free. Perhaps we should pay a little bit more for it and use those taxes for other things that we value. So to recap, you can actually bring your own human values into alignment with the value that you spend, the money that you spend, by looking at your own expenditure. What are you spending your own money on? What kind of value does your, does your money cause in the world? You can think of it in terms of your pension plans and your investments, because those have a kind of leverage strength. They're much more powerful. They'll get invested year after year, and it has a huge impact on the world. And we could also perhaps start a political discussion about what we choose to subsidize in our world and whether the tax money that we get is spent wisely. Hope this got you thinking a little bit about values. If you didn't like it, sorry for wasting your time. If you did like it, share it, send it to other people, uh, join the YouTube channel, uh, look at the website, and see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.